Greetings, this is Jesse from Nintendo Dads. Let me bring up the game, because I haven't done that yet. There, I can hear it. I'll be doing a Let's Play of Persephone. When I first saw the the trailer to this, it, uh... <laughs> it, I just looked like brute force the game and uh you'll, you'll probably you'll see what i'm talking about when we get there but before i do i launch it let's go through the description this game is al has already released on switch it released on the 11th it costs eight dollars and the you know we we got a code thanks to publisher momo momo p games studios so thanks for providing us with the with the game Persephone is a puzzle game that explores the following possibility. What if death isn't the end, but the key to solve puzzles? The complete edition of Persephone is now available, more than 100 levels in 10 chapters. The full three stories of Persephone, Demeter, and Hades, and a lot more to, to discover. Persephone is a puzzle game that explores the following possibility. What if death isn't the end, but the key to solve puzzles? Where, when, and how will you choose to die in order to progress? Discover more than 100 puzzles in 10 different environments, each with unique me mechanisms. Transport yourself to this magical world, enriched with beautiful graphics and captivating music. Well, that's yet to be, dis to see to be seen. Let's find out. Hey, Justin. Playing with emotes. No, oh, okay, just jumps right in. No title screen, no options, just boom, here's your tutorial. Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, tapping L shakes that, tapping R. Didn't do anything. I'm not sure what L and R are supposed to do. Up goes the settings, which is music, and sound effects, and again, again, D-pad doesn't do anything here. I don't like that. If you're gonna. <laughs> That's like the first thing I check for, and that's the first thing I normally th comment on. Why is credits? And X goes back. I still want to know what these L and R's do. I'm co confused. The, the, the sticks don't seem to do anything. Just tapping L shakes that. All right, let's push down. Okay, I can go back. Up brings me back here. So I guess this is my, my level select. Chapter one has 11 puzzles, I guess. We'll push A. Convenient bridge. And a convenient door. And they like each other. Oh, and he turned into a, a plant thing. I have no idea what just happened. Okay. All right. So here the D-pad does control up. You know, up is diagonally to the right. So it's like playing, you know, playing Hubert. Yeah. <laughs> 
But so here's where the brute force thing comes in that I saw in the trailer. I have nowhere to go. See, it won't let. Okay, oh, it will let me fall off the pit. Uh, but this is obviously a spiked ground that's going to kill me. So it kills me, I respawn, but now it's a safe space to walk on. So, it's just a matter of killing yourself enough times until you can finally make it through. The corpses don't stick around forever. They do vanish in time. So there is a time limit, I guess. I didn't catch that. Okay. So every time I do a step, these beams go out. Okay, and then standing on that raises platform so I think it just ruined it. Is there a way to reset? Alright, B resets. This is a lot of boxes. Okay, oh, okay. The, I, was, I was wondering if the right stick would rotate the screen. It does not, so I'm stuck with this vantage point. Assuming this is not a healthy thing to... Yeah, that... I'm not sure what... Oh, because I died on the button, so that was, that's what swapped it. So that was what I was supposed to do. push this brick and die here. Whoops, okay. So I guess my own corpse is, an, is, is also an obstacle to myself, so I have to be careful about where I die. Okay, I've got more buttons. Alright, so the corpse does not stop the beam, whatever that is. buttons on the other side of the laser. Okay, I can't push myself. 
Okay, I think I have to push myself enough times. <laughs> That's a weird. That wasn't what I was expecting. Okay. What does this button do? That opens that. Have a respawn. No, I can walk by. said it. I need to, I need to get a brick on that other button to raise to raise up the other side so then I can use the boxes by the gate to get out. Get a corpse in there first. Let's try that again. far side. Let's 
turn these into a bridge. Okay, I was expecting something else. Oh, no, what? oh okay. So that was chapter, I guess chapter one, and this is now chapter two, ten stages. I'm wondering if there's going to be any story or any reason why I'm doing what I'm doing, because otherwise this, what does this have to do with Greek mythology? I don't understand. I guess the triangle symbol on the right is showing me what level it is, maybe? I don't know. Let's see what we got now. Okay. That looks like this is going to fire something else. Okay, and it moves one square at a time. And it moves... timing thing. So I have three more of those lasers and a button. Okay, but they only shoot every other time. Okay. I need to die on the button. Or do that. Here we got weak ground. Am I going to die if I step on that? Uh, I'm not going to die, but it gives way. is the bridge so I need to get a box on top of that after the thing myself
reset. Box has to survive. line up corpses and push them. I don't know if that was the intended solution, but it worked. Okay, I can't go up to those steps to the left. I need to get take two separate paths to get to that exit because the ground's going to crumble. Okay, that was kind of clever. Oh, and the thing's going to destroy the box. So I'll kill myself on the button, and I need to get the box. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. Now I just need to get myself killed on the button. box. I think I need to use both boxes to do it. Well, how can I do that? I can create 
those. Now I can push the Brock across. And get to the exit. one fires every move, the right one fires every three moves. Okay, I need to get the box on the back side of that. need to get a corpse on the button.
see if I can do that again without resetting my spawn point. So I think that's what I need to do. I need to get that off the button. Puzzle gave me a whole bunch of extra things to think about that it weren't needed. Okay, looks like there's 12 puzzles in this. Oh, now we have ice. My favorite. Whoa, okay. Oh, so that okay, that's that kills me. My one corpse that was left behind was getting in my way. So... No obstacles, it's just logic here. Just like that. this okay do I have to kill myself to respawn faster than yep <laughs> myself.
Okay. Uh, so if I turn myself into stone here, and then... Now, now I can use it as a bridge. So that does push both. I wasn't wondering if it would let me do that or not. my corpse. There, now I should... <laughs> Not helping. I need to get on the left side. I need to approach it from the the upper cracked floor. Which means I need to approach it from below it. Going left here kills me right away. Going down and left kills me right away. Okay, there we go. I can remember what I did to do that.
I don't know where I was going with that. Can't go back. I am stuck. That was a weird puzzle. that down.
Ah. Surprisingly easy. I think here is where I'm going to stop for now. I've done, since they said ten chapters, I've done three, so I've done a third of the game. So, um, I like the puzzles. I still would like to know why I'm doing what I'm doing. You know, like if this wasn't called Persephone, I wouldn't have had any idea that this had anything to do with Greek mythology. And, you know, the description also describes, you know, mentions Demeter and Hades. Don't know where they are. <laughs> anyway, but so this, this is a game I'll probably give it another few goes at. You know, this and Haven, I want to have some more time at, in addition to playing more of Mario 3D World. But uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm liking this so far, and I'll talk more about this on Thursday. So, if, if uh, you're watching this on the, on the VOD, thanks for watching.